All right, good morning. So this will be a video for part or the CSWA practice exam number two. Um, again, this is for those looking at Schoology that are using SOLIDWORKS currently on their home computer. Um, in this case, uh, this one I'm going to go over next is the assembly. Specifically, what I want to show is how to do some of the more advanced uh, assembly features, or in this case, mates, um, and how to add in a uh, coordinate system so that you can get the correct x y and z for center of mass okay now reminder those of you that are doing 3d experience that is the students using max chromebooks or winbooks you are not doing the cswa practice uh, exam number two you're doing the angle arm the cam bracket and the model media 2014. again those of you using solidworks are only doing the cswa practice exam so going into this, okay, I'm going to go ahead and open up that file, my PDF right here. Here's the part I'm working on. Okay, so this is the question you are to assemble. Now, I'm not going to go through all the parts. I've already designed those. They're basic. You should be able to do those on your own. What I want to show is how to get this assembly right here in this angle and orientation, and then how to add on this coordinate system at the end. So what I'm going to do right now is going down through here i'm going to go and turn on my solidworks i am going to go ahead now i've already added all my mates okay all the mates i put on here are concentric and coincident you should be able to pin this together it's very straightforward there's not a lot to it okay you should be able to do that on your own however the problem i have right now is that this thing is moving all over the place that's not what i want i need to kind of get it looking like i said right here okay which means i need to apply an angle mate to get this angle right here okay and then I also need to get this rod in between centered up and I'm gonna make these two plates parallel to each other okay so I'm gonna add basically three critical dimen or not dimensions but mates here to make this work all right so to do that going back into my SOLIDWORKS here I'm gonna start with my assembly and my mate tool and the first thing I'm gonna do is make this top plate here rotate it over and this bottom plate down here I'm gonna make them parallel okay and hit my check mark so now at this point at least these two plates will stay parallel to each other okay now from here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add an angle between the bottom of this link here and the top of this link right here now it's gonna to go to coincident but I'm gonna add an angle now the angle is 36 degrees between here and like a midline or plane right here. All right, what I'm gonna do is take 36 here plus 36 here. I'm gonna make this total angle between those 72 degrees, 36 plus 36. Okay, hit my check mark. And now looking at this, I'm at least closer. The problem is, yes, those are staying at 72 degrees from each other as they're tilting back and forth, but I need this thing to be level. All right, and the way to do that is I've got to get this bar in here centered up inside this piece. All right, to do that, I'm going to go down to what's called an advanced mate, which is right over here to your left. If you drop this arrow down, I'm going to use one called width. All right, and a width bleed, it makes it really easy. So all I have to do is click on the end of the bar and the two faces of the little um, U joint things that are in there and tell it to center right in the middle. Okay, so let me just put that into practice. So I hit width. So my width selections, I'm going to take this face of my rod right here, come to the other side, and take the face over here. Okay, now where I want it to center up is between this face here and this face here. And what it just did, it just centered itself up right in the middle. And how do I know it's centered? Because it says right here. Okay, centered. So I hit my check mark. Now it's still moving. You see it's centered. The last thing I've got to do is I've got to make one of these blocks, okay, parallel with the bottom face. And that's going to be under standard mates. Make that parallel. So now this block will stay right there. So it can't move. So if I go to try to move, now it's all locked. Okay. Looking at from the front view, oops, no, excuse me, right side view. That's what I'm looking at when it's fully mated. Okay, you can see there's quite a few mates in here, but these last four are the four most important. Okay, now what I'm talking about is if you look at this, let's go back to my PDF file, 
That's what it should be looking like. That's what I'm seeing in this figure. Okay, so that means I've got this thing dialed up. So now I've got it completely assembled. I'm just going to do a quick control save. Make sure you save this as your final assembly. The last thing I got to do is I need to add in a coordinate system. If you look back at the PDF file here, specifically right here, it's showing you a coordinate system in this corner right here. Okay, looking at this, it shows me my X is coming out to the right, the Y is going to the back, and the Z is going up. All right, so what I'm going to do is go to SOLIDWORKS. And basically, I'm going to blow up right here because it's going to go right here on this corner, right there in this corner here. Okay, I'm going to go in here to Reference Geometry under my Assembly tab, and we are going to add a coordinate system. Now, it wants to know where do you want the coordinate system to go. I'm going to put it right here at this corner. Now, the problem is, is my Z needs to go up, my Y needs to go back, my X is okay. Well, I'm going to go over here to the left where it says Z axis and left click inside the box. And I want the Z axis to be on this line right here. So when I click on it, you'll see the Z now is pointing up, the Y is pointing back, the X is pointing out. And that's exactly what we see here in our PDF file. Z is pointing up, X is pointing out, Y is pointing back. So now that I know that I've got the X, Y, and Z exactly the same as it is in the PDF file, I can hit my check mark. Okay, so now there's my coordinate system one. All right. Now, if you want to see your coordinate system, you can simply come up here and turn on coordinate systems here. I did that so you could see it. So I'm going to take the eyeball and go coordinate system. So now I'm going to do a quick control save to save this. To find your mass, this is real, or not mass, but your X, Y, and Z, your center of mass, this is the most important thing. Evaluate mass properties, but here's the problem. If you try to use this X, Y, and Z, which right now, this is in grams and millimeters, but if you recall, this was done in IPS, okay, inch, pound, seconds. So we are going to change this, go to options, custom settings, Okay, and we are going to change this into inches. We're going to change this into pounds. Okay, and you can change this to cubic inches. All right, which is inches cubed. All right, now, this is important to understand. If I hit OK, I see now it's 2.98 pounds. We don't even know no mass. But here is my center of mass. But the problem is this center of mass is based upon the default origin. Okay, but we changed our origin. We created a new one. So when you go to do this, you're going to need to change it to coordinate system 1 or whatever number it is so you get the correct X, Y, Z. Now, I'm not going to click on that because I want you to find that. Okay, but once you have that, you will then see your X, Y, and Z change. These three numbers then need to be put into this week's assessment. Okay, you do not have to put in inches. You just put in the numbers, two decimal places, X, a Y, and a Z, and then submit. Okay, that takes care of how to add an origin and how to do the more advanced mates here. Okay, if you have questions, do not hesitate to email. Otherwise, good luck.